Hey guys, uh, welcome to my channel. Um, it's not like I really do much, but I thought I'd make a video, a quick video of how to hardware-wise um, set up your Vision slash Octo slash Quadro type pro um, products um, for those that do purchase it. I mean, it's not hard, but again, I thought I'd just put a quick video. So here's the Octo that I just purchased, right? Um, it can be a bit tedious to kind of find out what is it that you need in order to set one of these up, especially with some of the features that it has to offer. Um, so with the with the Octo right your box, you're obviously going to get your basic neat things. So you're going to get your manual. Uh, you're going to get the Octo itself. And being here, this will get you started. It's a quick little guide. Uh, it does help. Uh, there are a lot of it you know information that you could use online as well so uh, feel free to obviously google uh, a lot of reddit articles of people and their experiences with these products anyways you have the octo um let's see first things first is that i got with the octo i wanted to control my rgb lighting right so in order to do that i had to get a uh, it's a 10 centimeter, that's what it says there on camera, I'll focus with it, 10 centimeter RG, uh, RGBPX is what the uh, the uh, the cable itself is, and the cable obviously has these small uh, proprietary adapters that are solely Aqua Computer, right, and designed for their Vision products, but on top of that, in order to make it work with your um, in my case, I'm using the 5 volt RGB, um, you know, standard plugs. You have to buy the adapter, and this is the adapter. So, um, if you, you can pull this off to kind of show you, it's a really small piece, but there it is. And obviously, that connects to that proprietary plug they have for their ecosystem all right and there it is it's all plugged in now that's gonna go obviously into uh, slot one uh, so apparently an octo and a, and a quadro can do up to 180 LEDs total I in my system I don't believe I have that much so that's why I only currently have one cable but there you go you connect it in the one slot if I do have more than that, I do have another cable to add as well to include an adapter. Anyways, that's the RGB portion, right, of the Octo. Uh, same goes for Quadro. I think a Quadro only has one slot for RGB. So, um, all right, next is included in the box is the USB uh, interface to your computer. So this is how your Octo is gonna be able to um, uh, you know communicate with the software portion the aqua suite so this obviously comes with um, the kit right the octo and whatnot so this you'll get it in the kit now another cable here that you don't get in the kit is the signal so what is the signal cable signal cables designed um, there's a feature that's in the aqua seat suite that um, you could uh, use to set al alarms uh, for example for me uh, the reason why I got this is because I'm going to be using it with my d5 pump so if my d5 pump were to fail at any point and let's say I'm not here um, you know my computer's on you know leave it on etc or just during while I'm using it you know the pump goes out the the alarm that you set in aqua seat can actually send a signal to uh, your motherboard to switch off so what this is, it's a simple adapter that plugs into your motherboard. And then your existing adapter that's currently plugged into um, your, I, your IO in the front will plug into this. So, and again, proprietary adapter. And that goes into the USB slot. Or, I'm sorry, the signal signal slot on the octo 
and then USB. And then I was just gonna show an example. So I got a um, DRGB, right, five volt hub, because I do have quite a few things in my computer uh, that use this standard. So I got a hub and that's where this comes in. This is the input to the hub. And I can connect that. And this will send then the rest of the signal. Well, you guys I'm sure know. But um, that's the Octo. I have a total of six fans in my system. This has a total of eight PWM fans for a total of 100 watts. So, um, and then also with the kit, they do include one temperature sensor. All right. Um, I'm going to have a total of two. I'll probably add this one for the ambient temperature. And then I have also a... Um, uh, temperature sensor for my coolant or, or fluid so and those obviously on the octo right here you have a total of four slots in order to be able to put up to four sensors so um, again um, I know that there are some videos of people kind of walking through the aqua suite one thing that I hadn't seen uh, are videos of the actual like hardware itself and like I said, some of the things that you need in order to do something similar to like what I did, right? So for that, um, this signal right here, um, this, just so people are aware, this is the serial number. So if you want to be able to use that alarm where, you know, it can safely shut down your computer, if something were to fail, for example, that my D5 pump were to stop or, and or fail this will um, turn off the computer so that way it doesn't heat soak the fluid uh, and then you know components heat up etc so it's a safeguard there's a serial 53216 the um, RGB RGB cable that I showed you it's a 10 centimeter RGBX right there and that's the serial number 53260. Here's the adapter 53285. That's the adapter at the end of the cable that'll help me connect it to uh, the hub. Um, and yeah, that's it. Those are just, again, those are to kind of get things started. Um, you can add some things that I didn't mention. So, if you wanted to add a uh, flow sensor, which uh, Aquabus does offer, you can add that right here. And then if you wanted to communicate with any other products, for example, my wife is doing this for her build because she has more fans than I do uh, in her system. She has a total of nine fans. So um, she has an Octo 2 and she will be adding this, which is a Splitty 9. Focus, focus. But essentially what this is, is um, it'll allow her to, um, you know, since she has nine fans, she would be um, left short here with the eight inputs. Um, here she can leave her, um, her pump on one of these, her D5 pump, and then all of her fans can go on to this. And this obviously takes an input from, let me show you guys the cable. From this, this is the cable. So again, there's the proprietary side, all right? The proprietary cable for Aquabus. And then just your four pin, general four pin that that would, again, go plugged into the Aquabus, all right? Plug on the on the Octo or Quadro, if, if the Quadro is your case. And then obviously the, the four pin would then be plugged onto the Splitty 9 and the input. So input right there and then so the PWM signal coming into here will then spread out to the rest of the um, plugs on the board so that way then you can have full control of all your fans there is a jumper on here uh, the jumper is simply you know old school kind of just how it can configure itself so you can either uh, use this to connect to your board or if you like in my case where I'm using the aqua bus off of the octo to this uh, I would need to move the jumper one over in order to set it up for that
So that way it can look for um, the octo or quadro. And uh, yeah, just wanted to kind of show the hardware options that you have with um, with Aquabus. Uh, you know, I think I think their their stuff is pretty uh, legit and um, uh, even a better option than um, something like Corsair. And I know because I'm currently replacing my Corsair uh, Commander Pro. Um, it's doing fine right now, but uh, it does bug out, it bugs out a lot. Even when I reinstall the software and I reinstall the firmware on the actual hardware, uh, it still continues to bug out. So uh, that's why I'm going to give uh, Aqua Computer a try, and uh, hopefully I can report back, maybe make another video of me configuring things uh, with the Aqua Suite. Anyways, thanks for checking out my video, and uh, have a great day.